Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. A Kelowna RCMP officer was charged with assault this week, 11 months after he was caught on camera repeatedly punching a restrained man during an arrest. Constable Siggy Petrizak was the third officer on the scene of an arrest of a suspected impaired driver on May 30, 2020. Video shows him punching the suspect a number of times as the two other officers struggle to arrest him. The officer is currently suspended from the force with pay. In addition to the new criminal charge, he also faces a civil lawsuit from the man who is being arrested, Tyler Russell. A small plane crashed on Highway 5A near the Princeton Airport Thursday afternoon. A resident in the area said the plane left the end of the runway and ended up on the highway at about 4.20 p.m. The pilot was taken to hospital in stable condition. It remains unclear what caused the crash. A total of 25 Sun Peaks residents recently tested positive for COVID-19, but transmission appeared to plateau last week. As of Friday, there had been no new cases found over the past week. While Interior Health closed its testing facility at the resort as a result, adult residents of any age will be able to receive the COVID-19 vaccine from May 4th to May 7th. Sun Peaks is one of dozens of small interior communities that IH is fully vaccinating in the coming weeks. The third wave of the pandemic continued in BC this week, with active cases reaching new highs in the province as transmission grows at unprecedented rates. But while case numbers continue to grow this week, the latest data shows that that growth may be slowing down. Additionally, the outbreak at Vernon Jubilee Hospital was officially declared over on Friday. Three patients at the hospital died from the virus during the outbreak. And an old farmhouse in Vernon was completely destroyed by a large fire on Saturday, but the homeowner made it out just in time. Fire crews were called to the home on an orchard near Stickle Road at 2.30 p.m. to find it fully engulfed in flames. Prior to the arrival of the firefighters, the homeowner was helped out of a window by two passersby after he'd become overcome with smoke inhalation. He was taken to hospital but survived. Fire crews fought the large fire for hours, but the home was completely destroyed. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.